Um, I'm back. It's Christine Horn, life and career coach for actors. Issues tonight. Okay, so it's a work with me Wednesday. So that's what we're doing. You're working with me. I am attempting to go live on YouTube. I'm about to do an episode of Actors Daily Bread. If it doesn't go well on YouTube, we're just going to do it here on Instagram. Today I'm talking about uh, three ways to stop messing up your auditions. Yes, hair. Come on, Sasha. Thank you. She's new. <laughs> okay, but for real, I'm trying to go live on YouTube for the first time. And I'm having some technical difficulties. So it's episode 210 of Actors Daily Bread. So we'll see what happens. I'm clicking the go live button on YouTube. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It says I'm live. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Christine Horn. Uh, this is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. I'm live on YouTube for the first time. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? Uh, this is your first time watching. Please leave a one in the comments so I can welcome you later. If you're an OG member, you, you know, we just been doing this for a while. Put OG in the comments. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So today, tonight, it is a work with me Wednesday. What that means is every Wednesday on Instagram, my Instagram handle is at actress Christine Horn. I take you on the journey with me doing whatever the heck it is that I'm doing on Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, so I always like to go live on Wednesdays too. So tonight I want to talk about three ways to stop messing up your auditions. And these are three legit tips, whether you are doing TV, which is one of my specialties that I like to teach, or auditioning for, th for theater or film or commercials. So I'm gonna get right to it. It's episode 210. If you've missed any of these previous episodes of Actors Daily Bread, please come over to my YouTube channel and subscribe and binge and thank me later. So number one, my first tip I wanna give you is uh, prepare. You'll be surprised at how many times things come in your pipeline, things come in your email, and you just don't prepare. Um, you don't, you wait to the last minute. It could be self-sabotage. It could be because you had to work late, you got the kids, you got the wife, whatever it is. YouTube, if you're with me, please leave a comment because I have never gone live on YouTube. I don't know if anybody's on here. Um, so that's number one. So sometimes people say, Christine, I just lack confidence. Like this is a big thing I'm covering in my Book More TV course that I'm teaching right now. Shout out to all of you amazing students who've signed up. But confidence comes from preparation. When you're not prepared, it's no way you can feel confident because you're just, you're going by the seat of your pants, right? So the first tip is to prepare. What does that look like? It looks different for all of us. For some of us, it's, you know, really studying the lines, printing our script, you know, memorizing, building character. Again, you can use this in any format, whether it's, it's, it's film, TV, commercials, theater, doesn't matter. But when you're prepared, it just does something to you. You feel ready. You feel ready to go. There's nothing than anyone could say that can throw you. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is commit, right? We ain't talking relationships, but you should commit to those two. <laughs> but I'm talking about commit to your choices. See, I'm hype on this today because today I was, if you caught my Instagram story earlier, I was filming videos for my students. And one of the things I was expressing today was I was talking about, um, stage directions and it was just one example of how sometimes i see actors in their self tapes and they're just not committed they try to do something but then it looks half ass or i'll be like what you doing you're like oh i was running were you because i couldn't tell like i was you know doing whatever the action is but you didn't commit to it see a lot of you will say christine i just want to figure out how to make a strong choice how do I make a strong choice? How do I stand out? How do I make my tapes different? How do I make my auditions different? And the biggest piece of advice I can give you is to commit to whatever it is that you're deciding to do. The problem is you're scared. You're still scared. I'm gonna say scared. You're still scared to actually go there. And so what happens is you get caught in the middle. So it doesn't matter what the action is. It could be like saying, hi, but you're caught in the middle of, should I say hi, girl, like that? Or should I just say hi like that? So instead, you'd be like, hi, girl. And they'd be like, what you doing? Like, what is that? Like, you didn't commit to it. 
You know what I mean? It's like when you, when you go to shake somebody's hand, listen, I have a pet peeve. Serious pet peeve. And this is from my dudes. Any man I meet, if I look to give you a, a handshake, like I'm not, I looked for a good handshake. Actually, not just from dudes, from women too. If I shake your hand, just commit to shaking my hand. What I cannot stand is this kind of handshake. Like this kind of limp, barely touching my hand. I'd be like, ooh, that just feels weird. Either shake my hand or just give me a high. Like give me a wave. Like don't give me the limp kind of half-ass handshake. So the same thing goes for your acting choices. <laughs> Commit to it. Either do it or don't do it. Don't get caught in the middle. Because when you get caught in the middle is when we don't believe you. Because we can tell you don't believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself in your own audition at your house or at a self-tape studio, why would it let you on my set with my celebrity, with my star of the show? I'm going to be worried about you. Is she going to commit? Is he going to commit? Is he going to fully like show up for himself? So that's your second tip. So to recap, number one is prepare. When you're prepared, you feel confident. No matter what you do in life. Hi, Marie. Marie says she can't hear. Seriously, mic check. Marie, can you hear me now? So now I had to unmute myself. For y'all on Instagram, I'm going live on YouTube for the first time. Thank you, Marie. Marie, tell me if you can hear me now, girl. See? For those of you who don't do stuff because you want to get it perfect, I am a living example. You just got to try it and get your community to help you along the way. Marie, tell me if you can hear me, girl. Tell me. See, I'm going to figure this out. But see, watch. In a month, I'm going to be like, I'm on YouTube live again. <laughs> no problem. I hope, she can, I hope Marie can tell me if she can hear me because this is my first time. So I'm having my first. Well, I know Instagram can hear me. I'm on YouTube live for the first time. That's what I'm trying out for the first time because you can't just go on live on YouTube without another like third party software to help you stream. So if you subscribe to me on YouTube, you can watch me. You should have got a push notification to your phone saying I was live tonight. Um, so it's my, I'm literally trying it out with you guys. Instagram, you're not feeling it because you're not on YouTube. I'm trying to trying to do my takeover, y'all. Trying to I'm coming for YouTube in 2020. All right, let me give my third tip. Hopefully, Marie will let me know if she can hear me or any of you who are on YouTube can let me can let me know because um, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right and I'm going to just fail publicly until I get it together. So tip number three for how to stop messing up your auditions is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun. Y'all are taking this stuff so seriously. Y'all are forgetting that we're playing pretend. Y'all are forgetting that we're just bringing these fun people's lives to life. Saquon, can you hear me? This, let me tell y'all something before I give you the bonus tip. My friend Saquon Sengla, she has an amazing uh, podcast called Saquon Talks. We're friends. And we, we've been friends since we were 14. And she's like, Christine, you need to go on YouTube live. You need to be on, I, she's like, be on YouTube live. Saquon, just so you know, she's, she just came on YouTube live. She's filming in Atlanta. She's working on the Respect movie, playing uh, the sister to Jennifer Hudson on Respect. I got to big up, send you big ups, follow her podcast. But um, Saquon, just so you know, I tried to go live like 30 minutes ago and it was a hot mess. It did not work. You need like a third party software and all this stuff is dramatic, but I'm trying and I've been, I was muted apparently for the past 10 minutes. So let me give you all the third tip, but I thank you, girl, because, um, you know, that's why you need friends who will say, hey, why don't you try this? Push you to your next level. If you got friends who are trying to pull you down, you need to let them go. I like friends who are like, let's try this. Let's try this new thing. So here we go. Um, my bonus tip, so let's recap. Three ways to stop messing up your auditions. One, prepare. Pre preparation equals confidence. Commit to your choices. No half-ass handshakes, no half-ass auditions, right? Commit to the choice. The third thing is have fun. We're, we live a magical life as actors. We get to like try on all these different uh, characters, right? Today, I done changed my hair three times. You understand? Like with every hairstyle comes a different character. My life is never boring, right? So my bonus tip for you today is to stop telling yourself that you are messing up. I talked about this with my inner circle students uh, uh, on Monday. We had a, a really intimate Q&A session on Monday. We talked about a lot of stuff, but one of the things came up, one of, shout out to Deneen Rochelle, 
Um, um, Diego, I see you. I'm going to come to you. Shout out to Janine Rochelle, one of my inner circle clients. That's my VIP private coaching. And she had got an uh, uh, email from a director. She auditioned for a role. We've been working together for like a month. She got an audition for a role. She killed it. But she got an email from the director saying, hey, you didn't book it. But I wanted to reach out to you to let you know that, man, your audition was amazing. I didn't want you to think you did a bad job. They, we just went in another direction. I'm going to keep you in mind. He ended up friending her on Instagram. Like now they're building like this professional relationship. And I told her it was so dope because, say kind of, yeah, I don't know why y'all can't hear me. They still can't hear me on, on YouTube. We'll figure that out next time. Um... But they built this relationship. And what was so great about it was, I said, you see what happens when you actually get feedback? See, most times we audition, 98% of the time, wouldn't you agree? We audition, audition, audition. And we don't get, we don't get, either we get, either we book the job, we get a call back, we get pinned, or we hear nothing. And it's so easy to think because I heard nothing, I messed up. The first thing a lot of you ask yourself is, what did I do wrong? What could I have done better? I really thought I killed that audition. What happened? And I, what I love about this story is that she got to hear firsthand that her audition was amazing. They just went in another direction. And as someone who's been on the opposite end, I've, I've cast my own projects before, my short film. I did a pilot show for these kids once. And there were so many amazing people and I couldn't cast them all. I wanted to, kids included. And I hated to think that there would be a kid who walked out of my audition for my kid's show thinking that there was something wrong with them because they didn't get cast. And so I'm going to say the same thing to you, grown person. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. When you know you have prepared, when you know you have committed to your choices, when you know you had fun in that room, you booked the room, right? I want you to not tell yourself, let the, let, I don't want the default question to be, what did I do wrong? How could I have done it better? Perhaps you did amazing. They went in another direction. That's when you leave and be like, I killed that. That's when I tell y'all, did you book the room? If you booked the room, then that's all you can, you gonna leave that and go. You, you've made a fan, all right? So that was my tip for you tonight. This is episode 210 of Actors Daily Bread. Um, Diego Calderon says, what am I using to broadcast? Facebook, I can broadcast to Facebook with the click of a button from my from my computer. YouTube Live is weird. I'm using OBS to stream, I thought. I mean, I am, but I don't know why I don't have sound. Again, first time doing it. That's how I live my life. I just be like, let me just do that in front of y'all, all y'all. Let's figure it out, guys. <laughs> I don't mind looking like... I don't want to say a fool. I don't mind something not working publicly because I think that's so many of my clients like get stuck on just not taking a step because they're like, it has to be perfect. And I'm living proof every day and, and in this moment that sometimes, most times it's not perfect. I'm just going to show up anyway and laugh my way through it. And y'all can hear me on Instagram. So I'm going to take the Instagram video and repurpose that. Um, I don't think there were any other comments tonight. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. All right. I'm going to go. Again, if you missed any part of this, I'm going to let the replay do its thing. Um, I'll see you next time. Be sure to come to my YouTube channel, like I said, and subscribe and binge. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Instagram.